afternoon guys, welcome back to the vlog once again. Today is nice Saturday. Welcome to beautiful Bangor. Beautiful sunny Bangor. Look at this. The sun within the last hour or so has just decided to pop out. But I'm out again with the wee man. My sidekick. Out for our exercise. So we are. We're going to head guys. We're just heading down the road here. We're not going to any shops or anywhere where people are. We're just out walking because we've been in the house for like two and a half, three days. and. Only three days actually, I'm going to get out of the house, we're fed up, so... If you haven't saw the last vlog guys from yesterday, the link in the description below, where we announced that Brick starts her own YouTube channel, which she has started already today. Uh, she's done a bit of vlogging of us before we left, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Asking where we're going and stuff like that there, so... Unreal. She started her own YouTube channel. Uh, she said she wants to do a challenge and see who can get the most subscribers and most viewers. <laughs> Probably. Who wants to see my old ass on YouTube? <laughs> anyway guys, yes it's a beautiful day. We're just out for a nice walk here. I don't know where we're heading to, but we're just walking along the road here. Staying away from everybody. Staying away from people. We're just walking. I have a rough idea where we would like to go today, but obviously but we do have to stop off at the shop on the way back. Because uh, we need to get milk and bread for the house, but that's the way Tesco guys across the road from us. So we'll head over there later on at some point. But guys, we're just out here for a nice walk on a sunny day. Hope you're all keeping safe. Just off the phone there with mum and dad, they're in their back garden. So they are in their gazebo, staying safe at home as well. So they're having a good day as well, a bit of time on their own. The last I heard mum was telling me dad was having a beer loose. Dad never drinks. And he never drinks, guys. Um, even when I took him down Liverpool trips, he never even had a beer. Dad very rarely drinks, but he's having a beer today apparently. So far play to him, dad, if you're having the beer, far play to you. Enjoy it. So, right. So we see where this little adventure takes us today. Yeah. For a nice walk to stretch the legs. Should we call by Nanny Grandis on the way back? Yeah. Just to see how they're doing, so we haven't seen them for a couple of days since the, the last time we were in a few days ago, just to see how they are. And obviously we were talking to them on the phone, but it's nice to see them. Obviously we can't go in near them, but the whole social distancing thing, but here we go guys. Let's see where this travel takes us, and let's get this Saturday's vlog started. Oh, well, I'm up here for a while, have I? Up near school. No bargains over there, there's a bit of a queue outside it guys, but we're not heading in there today because we're staying away. Even up back there at Halford there's a bit of a queue too, but when was the last time we were up here? That's area, I don't know, weeks ago? Weeks ago? I yeah, I've been walking up this car park, I haven't walked this car park for a while guys. But, yes, we're still on our travels. I just ran into an old friend of mine who I haven't seen for years. He used to live in the same street as us whenever I used to live at home with mum and dad. Colin. I actually saw his dad at home base the other day. I haven't seen his dad for years too. His dad used to be a bus driver for Translink or Ulster bus at the time years ago. And I've just seen Colin today, so yeah, I've seen Colin for years. God, when I was like 18, I used to go to drink at the bar at the old Spring Hill shopping centre. After I used to when I was working in the old Bell One. Then it was Bell One, was it was left Bell One at the time. I think I was maybe working in one of the hotels or something at the time. And Banger, when I was only 18, I used to have a pint with Colin over in the old Viking bar, but it's now gone. So I've seen Colin for years, it was really good catching up with him there. Obviously I couldn't stand near him, but we sort of spoke across the road at each other. But, God, he's looking the same as what he did 20 years ago, compared to what he does now. You know, last time I seen him he was looking a bit more older and all, but now he looks the same as what he did 20 years ago. But, yeah, he's looking well, so... Happy days, it's nice seeing him. That's actually about to brighten up my day now, so it has this. Seeing an old friend. So, anyway, yes. Let's see where uh, we end up next. Well... Our travels and I took us into Kilcooley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just walking along here. We just walked past my old flat. Yes. I used to live in for a while. This is the near And then thing. my first ever bought house that I ever bought before, years ago, when I was still married to your mum and stuff at the time. It's a lovely house, so it was. I actually adored that house so much. But anyway, yes, guys, we're right walking through Kilcooley here. Still, I'm keeping away from people. So we are just walking about here, just sort of. Ourselves, to ourselves, so we are. So we're going to walk up this way here towards this big field area, big forest, and all stuff up here. We want to walk up to. So let's head up this way. Let's see where we're going. To. I like walking up here, no? Mm -hmm. I used to walk up here all the time when I was a kid. When I used to live up here, heading up towards going home. When I used to walk home from school every day. <laughs> I was in secondary school, but years ago, guys, very sad story about down here. Years and years ago, there, used to be a, there actually used to be, believe it or not, a river that used to run right along here. 
up around the football pits up here and right round, but they actually ended up getting rid of the whole river and closing the lock because unfortunately a lot of years ago guys, two small children were killed up here. It was a cold winter's night, it was raining really heavy and apparently, I don't know what I've heard, they were down around playing in that area and they, I don't know why they fell into the river or whatever and they drowned but I always remember being down there hanging about here when I was a kid. I always remember hearing that story. It was on the news in the ring too, so it was, so hence why they closed all this off. But very sad story. So it was God, I must say I was at least a good 20 years ago, maybe more. Well, maybe not even 20 years, but that's why it's all just ripped, it's all hedges now, it's all been closed off. Because whenever I was a kid, I used to go down to the, the, the forest area and uh, climb on trees and hang out with friends and stuff and then uh, obviously it all changed after that happened so but we're heading up the road here now towards the top towards where I used to live so we show them the old street that I grew up in whenever I moved from Belfast yeah. remember uh -huh. I done a video before guys about two years ago where I showed you where I grew up in Belfast um, I did say I was going to show you more of that because a lot of these were asking me to continue on to show you where my next step was in my journey growing up so this is a street that I sort of had teenage years and stuff up here from about 11 until I moved out I went out on my own. Oh, we're now up here guys, the old football pitch, which is no longer here, it's just grass virgins now. My old primary school for one year just in there, yeah. Kilkilly Primary School, still that. there. Only one year I went in there guys. Was it good? So it did. Oh, one year, primary seven, same year you're in now. Yeah, it wasn't a good school. <laughs> Yeah, it was fun. My, here, tell you a story, guys. My teacher in that school was also my dad's teacher at Ashfield's Bo Ashfield Boys Schools in Belfast. Boys School, sorry. <laughs> so, Mr. Strafford, mm -hmm. he was also your grandest teacher. Wow. Which is true, a true story, so there you go. But, I wonder if Mr. Strafford's still alive. I'd love to be able to meet him mm -hmm. again, see how he's doing. I know his wife wasn't too well a long time ago, I heard that story, but I don't know. Right, let's go up into my old street here and show you about where I grew up most of my teenage years and we'll have a knock about and see how the streets now, years after I moved out. Well guys, here we are. This is my old street. There's my auntie's house in there. That one there, used to be auntie Donna's house. That used to be my house right there. That house right there was the house that I grew up in. It's obviously all changed now, a lot since then. But in here, this is where I used to play football when I was a kid. And also used to hang around here as well. But here, you want to hear a true story? Yeah. See, whenever we were kids at night time in the summertime, see all around the SB Square area here? Mm -hmm. There used to be bats. We used to fly in. Honestly, ask your nanny if you don't believe me. Okay. During the summer. So, I'm going to go in the back here and have a look. And there are guys, this is the back of the house. This is where I used to hang around a lot as well. My, my best friends used to live over there. So, not the same right here as what it used to be, Liz. Mm -hmm. so it's not, a lot of great memories around here as a kid. So we're now on our travels more. We're heading up towards the shops here, which is no longer here anymore. Well, it's, it has a chemist and that's about it. Years ago, it used to have a sweetie shop and a Chinese and everything else. Now it doesn't. So, guys, we just ran into, there and just ran into uh, a guy who used to live in the same street as me. Um, my friend, Deborah, her dad, I saw, used to live right beside us, beside our old house. Um, you okay there, getting around the corner there? Um, I just ran into him, Billy you call him? Get around the corner here, it's the sun to see me. Um, unfortunately his wife passed away. Uh, my god, many weeks ago was that now, I can't remember. Um, I went to the funeral. And I was talking to Billy, I just wanted to just, I just see him sitting there guys, I wanted to go over and say hello to him and check in with him because he was... Obviously he's been married over 50 years and stuff and he's, he's been the only person ever lived in that house since 1970 when it was built. So I just wanted to stick my head through the door and say hello and, you know, it was really heartbreaking seeing him sitting like that because Billy was always full of life. He was always out and walking and he used to be a different a guy. He used to go into the big forest across the road with the Dufferin, Dufferin Forest. He used to collect golf balls from the golf course and he would like, bring it, give them all to the kids in the street and... His wife, Betty, who's now passed away, would always come out in the summertime and give you juice and lollipops and talk to us and be so nice to us and great memories. So it was so. 
But it was nice seeing Billy. And plus Lewis got to meet him for the first time too. He was a nice man, mm -hmm. wasn't he? Really, really nice. Until he looks like me. No, I don't. <laughs> but it was nice seeing Billy. But anyway guys, yes, we're here now with the shops here. So we are. This is where the old shops used to be. That used to be a post office and a shop in there, Lewis. That's the shop. Believe it or not, Lewis, last night on PS4, Tony and I were talking about the old sweetie shop that used to be in there called Collins. In there. But now it's a different place. That's where I used to, remember I used to tell you when I was a kid, I used to save up all my pocket money and go and buy my football magazines on Saturday morning? Mm -hmm. That's where I used to go in there. That was a cool shop. Then over there where the pharmacy is now, their pharmacy, that used to be a Chinese called Sky King. People used to be a bit skeptical about their food, but I used to think their food Why? was okay. I don't know, people used to say it was like, oh, those kitchens are stinking, those food's rotten and all, but I thought it was okay. So, anyway, it was good seeing Billy. So it was. And, uh, you know, I want to make, make a point to come up here more often and sort of walk around here and see if I can see any old people that live around here. Because, guys, I used to love living up here. I mean, there's that shop, man. I don't, I don't even know why it is a shop, man. I don't think it is. It could, it could be. I don't know. The last I heard it wasn't, so. But, yeah, guys, I have very fond memories up around here growing up as a kid. Um, about to walk down past here, past the two churches. Um, one I used to go to every Thursday night. Here's an Norway story for you for the vlog today. Um, did you ever see that indoor bowling? Or the bowling you see like outdoor in the likes of the parks and stuff like that? That 10 pin bowl and the other bowls. I used to play that when I was younger. I used to go to the church down here every Thursday night and play. Um, until I was a bit older and obviously I started getting out working and stuff. And then I met Brooke and Lewis's mum. And then with the job I had at the time working with the elderly, I couldn't really get to go every single week. So I ended up not going anymore. So. Um, Churches down here, actually, the Presbyterian Church. I used to go to every Thursday night. Um, last I heard, that was clubs now officially closed. So, but yeah, guys, it's nice, it's nice walking up around here and just sort of seeing a few old things, a few old faces and stuff. And this is safe here. Look, stop this. We kitten or a wee small cat there looking for the birds. Look. Oh, he spotted us. <laughs> so he has. So, no, it was nice, guys, seeing people today. Glad to see Billy to see how he was and stuff. I got we cats looking for the birdies. Hello you. I think he's looking for the birdies. Hello. Hello. Hello you. No, very young. What's the matter? We're watching for the birds. <laughs> there you are guys, there's the church where I used to go to every Thursday night. I used to go play bulls in there. Good times. And then just behind here you see all these new houses now. They never used to be new houses, Lewis. They used to be all like flats, old school flats that you would see in housing estates and stuff. So, well, there you go. Um, I want to head on down here for a bit, guys, and then I want to end this vlog for today. I may do a second vlog when I get home. Um, but yeah, but nice walking through here, so what has. So, let's continue on with the walk here and see where it takes us to. Well, with my left, we're on right in the road here now. So, we're going to continue on for another bit of a walk, but we're going to show it in the next vlog. So we are, so we put a bit of fancy music or something over it. <laughs> <laughs> if you want. Anyway guys, yes, we've left the estate. We're now on the road, on the road here now, so that is going to bring us to the end of this vlog. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the vlog, what have they got to do? Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, um, turn on the notification bell, and check out Brooke as well. Yes, Brooke's channel is linked in the description below, and also the Mirror Army Merchandise Make sure you subscribe to her and hit the yes. post notification bell on too. And make sure you check out the Mirror Army Merchandise Store. Check out her new video. And her new video when she posts it. <laughs> <laughs> right guys, we're going to go here now and head down towards the Bangor West area, so... This is going to be fun. We'll show you more of that in the next vlog, guys. Um, whenever we get back home. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you all soon, guys. Thanks for watching.